how to create a website on Canva. Good day, folks, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you the power of Canva, and we're going to create a website. So, the first thing you want to do is sign into Canva with an email address, and this is what your home page will look like. So, I'm going to show you how to choose the right template. I'm going to show you how to actually design the website to make it unique and user friendly and then i'm going to show you how you can publish your website with your own custom domain so let's get straight into it at the top of the page it says what will you design today so we have two options the first thing is the search bar we can type in here website and you'll see it will bring up a couple options now the thing that you want to tap on here is the website with the icon next to it alternatively if you see on this tab here there's a for you docs whiteboards presentation social media videos and websites we're going to tap on that now it'll take us through to the same page and right over here you can actually see a bunch of different templates so the first thing that you want to do here is it says build your online presence and we want to choose the correct website that we would like you can now scroll a little bit further and you can start designing a website from either one of these templates so we've got websites we've got business websites portfolios and what we can do now is choose an appropriate template so i'm going to go ahead and choose this template over here and as you can see, the interface is really, really simple. So we're going to go ahead now and start designing this website. As you can see, this is the main part of what you're viewing. This is what the main page looks like. On the left hand side, you have your toolbar down running onto the side and then you have each one of those options of the toolbar so right now we're in design we're having a look at some templates and we can explore them so once you've chosen your template and you're happy with that you can scroll through them and you can see page by page now as you can see it is on a single page and you're scrolling through them however they are six individual pages so we want to now start customizing our website and you can now go ahead and tap on any element so i've tapped on this page over here and this is an actual fact an image it is the background for this page and there's a few options first of all you have the three dots and you can copy you can paste delete you can leave a comment you can lock this as the background you can detach the image from the background and then you can apply other colors to this page the other options that you have over here is up at the top of the page and you can see here you can edit this image so you can completely customize this if it has an image where you can remove a background you can do so over here you can also change the brightness contrast saturation of this image you can add filters you can also do some smart mock-ups over here so there's tons of things that you can do with an image you can also crop it flip it change its colors you can move it you can change its duration its position its transparency and then again you can lock that image as the background now any other element that you're tapping on over here in canva you can then edit that specific element so just for example let us say we want to make this that big that's as easy as that you tap on the image and you can just use these sidebars over here and the dots to drag and make that image bigger going over now to wanting to add elements let's say on the left hand side we're going to tap on elements we can now add things like shapes buttons there is an ai image generator there's graphics stickers photos videos charts tables frames grids there are collections of stickers so there's really a lot of just elements that you can add here to your page so wherever it is that you're going all you need to do is tap on the element that you want as you can see just for example this chart and you can hold down and you can drag it over and you can enter it now onto your page another way of doing this is actually tapping on the element and it will actually appear on the page as well it'll appear center and then you can click down and you can move it around as to however it is that you want to and this specific one is actually a percentage bar you can actually change the way it looks and uh, you can change the line weight as well we have a percentage label we can put in there and then you can either round those edge points or not 
and that is a great little element you can also change the colors of that specific element up at the top toolbar so you can make it like red if you want and you can make that one purple and again you can change the size you can change the position you can change a whole bunch of things about that specific element some of the other things that you can add on to this page over here as you can see there's some text if you tap on that you can really customize everything about it you can add some effects you can change its alignment you can change whether it's uppercase or lowercase you can also open this block so that the text fits in differently you can change its color its size as well as its font style now having a look on the left hand side if you would like to enter a new text box you can go ahead tap on text there's an add a text box you can just tap on that it'll open up a new box over here and now you can start typing however you'd like so if we make it a little bit bigger you can see it over there and you can start typing it and customize it the way that you would like to if you would like to not do it that way and you would like to keep all the formatting of some text that's already on a page you can tap on that text that you would like to copy and you can just say duplicate and now you've got all of the settings already set out for you all you have to do now is double click and you can enter in your new text over here and you can put that now wherever it is that you would like to on your page some additional settings over here which you will find only on the website builder in canva is you can actually move this page from being page one down to page two or so forth there is also the hide page button so you can actually hide this page you can also add some notes onto the page you can allow only replacing the contents to the page again you can duplicate the page delete it and then you can add a page right over here quickly and easily so if you want to keep the same thing a nice way to add a page is actually to duplicate a page and then change the elements from there instead of adding a blank page and putting on new elements so the point of this stage really is to customize your website and really get it looking like what you want it to look like and making sure that when people see your website it's easy to use easy to run through and all the information is right in front of them so before we carry on and publish our website we want to add some buttons in over here so what we're going to do is we're going to find something that we would like to create as a button and i have this facebook icon over here we're going to tap on that we're going to now move it to a position that we want it in and for example we're going to change the color to its striking blue and over here now you can see we're going to leave it right over there and now we can enter in its details so we're going to click on that and there are three dots you're going to tap on that and you're going to look for link now what will happen is you can either put in the link to your facebook page over here or to whatever facebook link you need it to be and if you are putting in a button over here let's say you're putting in a menu at the top of your home page you will go down over here and it says pages in this document and it'll just copy the link to that page over here so let's say perhaps we're going to make this one our services we can tap on that and it is now created as our services we are going to now say done now once you have sorted out the look and the feel of your website pages you've gone through all of the pages and we're going to have a look at some other options now you can tap on share and this will be shared to anybody that you would like to share it to you can edit the access over here you can also have a collaboration link which means you can create a link and then anybody with the link can actually view this website before it's published you can now go down and you can download it and it will be downloaded in individual images so if you want to send somebody a sample of what the pages will look like they will not be interactive you'll not be able to click on any of the buttons and so forth but they will be able to see what it looks like so now we're getting into the part where we can actually start publishing our website so on the top right hand side there is a publish website button we're going to tap on that now you can see over here you are offered a few options so the resizing mobile and navigation options we've already gone through and then we have a publish to and you can get a free domain and this is published to a canva domain you can either purchase a new domain 
through Canva, or you can use your existing domain. So if you're purchasing a new domain through Canva, you're going to tap on that. Or if you're using your existing domain, you're going to tap on continue. Now, if you're buying a domain through Canva, it'll take you over to this page. You will now be able to enter in your custom domain. So we're going to go ahead and see if custom domain is available. And you can see over here, it's giving you a few options according to what you've typed in over here. So we can go ahead and tap on claim on any one of those that you would like. There's also a price over there underneath the domain so that you can see what it actually will cost you. If you're going back, you want to enter in your own domain, you want to use your existing domain, and you tap on continue, you'll have to put it in just over here. And if you want a free domain, we're going to go ahead and tap free domain, we're going to tap on continue, and it says you can edit your subdomain later in your domain settings once this has been published. You're going to go ahead and you're going to enter in your domain name over here. And if it is not available, it will tell you that it's not available. And now you can tap on continue. You can now enter your page URL as well as a page description. There are some advanced settings over here, such as a password protection, the search engine visibility. And then you can also link a preview over here. As you can see, if you don't link it, it won't actually have that preview image over there so you can go ahead once you're done with that you can tap on the publish at the bottom of the screen over here and that means your website will now be published and you'll be able to go into your settings and you will be able to actually edit your website there we go folks i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop us a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will see you in another video cheerio